Everyone, this is Carmen Love. She's been my client for like six years. We've been, okay. it's a very long time. <laughs> I think that's a year. You need a nippleage of a trim. It might be a paranormal activity. I'm gonna give you superpowers. Do you know what superpowers is? No. Do you wanna look like a villain or a hero? A villain. But you're so shy, I can't see I you know. as a villain. You ready to get started? I'm ready. Give me five. God, your hair is so dry that it's stuck know. together. Ugh. All right, so my first formula is gonna be level six, Midnight Rose on her Rutage. But I'm also gonna mix in level three and be Midnight Violet. Midnight Violet has kind of like an indigo violet base, so it leans towards the cooler side, so the more bluer side of violet, not the berry side. 20 volume, equal parts. Anytime you use Olaplex, it will drop the alkalinity a little bit. I like to use it on the Rutage formula because I do want to not have a hot, rooty feel. I've been very lucky lately that my hand condoms don't rip. I've been losing weight on my fingers or my hands or something. <laughs> so when I do my Rutage formula, guys, I only put about an inch on the scalp and a little bit away. I want Karma to have as much depth at her Rutage as possible. So level six Midnight Rose is gonna be the second formula down her mid shaft. And remember, I injected Midnight Violet here, which is a cooler tone violet. So it's gonna mute out that hot root effect. I am gonna use 30 volume for her mid shaft because I need that extra power to accelerate that lift in the cold shaft area. Look how pretty it looks in the bowl, guys. It kind of looks like yogurt. You can see where her regrowth situation is. It's about down to here. So I'm just gonna apply it down through. I am gonna lay a mesh sheet down, I believe. Ah! Okay, that was a little dramatic. We're gonna use a clean brush because we're not gonna contaminate her. <laughs> Leave that panel defined linear. Don't string it together. Having the mesh sheet to isolate not only keeps the section clean, but because you're incubating it, you're allowing that 30 volume in the mid shaft to really lift, giving it more acceleration through the incubation. So I'm gonna do this throughout her whole entire head. All right, so I finished applying her second formula. Now I'm going in with Magnum 8 powder lightener, one to two ratio. That's my favorite consistency. And then I'm gonna do 100 grams of 40 volume. I love the soft lavender fragrance with Magnum 8. I love that you get like this powerful lift, but not the aggression. I am gonna make all of her ends lighter because I'm going in with superpowers. This is where my salon armor guard comes into play. I'm gonna put the clips on my guard. By the way, I'll put the links below for you guys to purchase the Guy Tang Salon Armor Guard. All right, so when I lift up, you can see how well that color is processing. Look how beautiful the Midnight Rose is processing. But I do want to decolorize the ends here. I'm gonna use my clip and going section by section. Now don't use too much product. I just have a little bit of product on my bristles. So I start from the ends here and you'll see me stroke my way up. It's almost like a wet balayage, if you will. It's a little bit slightly runnier, but the reason why I didn't do a balayage lightener is because I want the lift to be a little bit higher, a little bit blonder, so when crimson spell go over the top of it, it can just merge and look beautiful. A lot of times when we're merging color with lightener, it'll be like an orangey band here, and that's really annoying, but because we are overlaying red, that band is gonna be okay. Just lay it right over that first mesh sheet. It's so fun and easy, because everything's already isolated from the mesh sheet. Always stand straight, bring that chair up, don't forget it, because you don't want to hurt your back, you want longevity in your career, and if you do have to bend, if for any reason, I always say do the hair squat. It's like you have to bend with your legs to go low and stick your butt out if you need to. So that way you're actually working out your legs and not hurting your back. Now I'm gonna go higher. So now that we did four back-to-back -back lower ombres, we are gonna drag this one directly up to the mid shaft. We're applying lightener or bleach directly over processing color in the mid shaft. It creates a seamless blend down, giving us the perfect platform guys to put the superpowers crimson spell over it. I know you've been doing a lot of Instagram type of work. What would you call yourself? I guess now like the most popular term is influencer. How do you feel about that word? Um, I think it's better than Instagrammer. It's like, oh, all I do is Instagram. But I do like other stuff too besides just Instagram. I'll tell you how I feel about the word influencer. Influence can be bad influence or good influence. I don't look to be influenced. I look to be inspired. Inspirational leader, maybe? Um, a creator? I feel like there's a lack of relationship between brands and influencers or creators.
computers, they only look at numbers, and when you have numbers, they just like, oh, here you go, used our product. Yeah. There's no relationship there. To me, it's, I compare it to dating. Would you date a guy just because he has money? But I think that you should love him, and you should have something in common with him. Business relationship or romantic relationship, they're kind of... In this, they're, yeah. they're parallel. I feel like as a creator. A creator! For me, it's like I now only put out like things that I really truly love. That's why I don't post that often anymore. I used to post like twice a day, but now it's only like once every two, three days. Uh, quality over quantity. Yeah. I know that ever since I first met you, you're very shy and you get mistaken for like resting bitch face. I do have RBF, it's true. Because you don't talk. Like when I first met you, you just kind of come in like, mm -hmm, yeah, okay, whatever. And then you get mistaken for being a bitch. Correct? I do. Actually, a lot of my friends were like, oh, like, when I first met you, I, I thought you were really me. And I was like, what? And I'm I doing your hair. shy. Yeah. I just get more comfortable the more time I hang out with the person. It took us five years <laughs> be before you got comfortable. Being. What are the stereotypes that come along with uh, being shy, though? They're very hard to approach. You know, there's like people that you can just like go and talk to. Yeah, I'm not one of those people. Do you sit in the corner by yourself? Yes, <laughs> I do. And I don't mind it, because I'm an introvert, like a- Introvert. A hardcore introvert. Like, I like being by myself. But you just get mistaken all the time, because there's a stereotype. People <laughs> stereotype you for being a bitch. We should not stereotype anyone. Let people be and embrace people for who they are. To breaking stereotypes of introverted people and extroverted people, and treat everybody equally, yes. So I just got Carmen Love back and she's at the shampoo bowl right now. She's been processed for 30 minutes. You can see here around her face, the highlight starts up higher around her hairline. And then right behind it, you'll see it being dragged lower. And then you'll see some pieces being dragged higher. It's alternated. And that's what creates that ombre face framing effect. But look at that perfect lift. Level nine, we want to put Crimson Spell right over this. If anything, her hair kind of feels healthier after we put Magna Bain on it. All right, so we are back with Carmen Love. Take a look at her hair here. So you can see this is where her 6MR is. We put the 3MB with 6MR in the routage, but it's not her scalp, so it looks like it's a little bit brighter. Thank God we put the 3MB in there to calm it down, right? But what I want to do is mix two superpower flavors, okay? So I'm going to do Crimson Spell. It's super pigmented on the other bowl. I'm also going to put Crimson Spell. Now I'm going to do Blue Mystique. Mixing with Crimson Spell allow you to have that wine color. Being able to drag some of it lower is going to interconnect the 6MR in between here so it looks more fluid and not like a deliberate hard line drop off. I'm gonna apply this straight on her routage area. And what I do love about the rose gold brushes is that it does have jagged bristles so it helps you with feathering. You can see here, even though I color melted in with the bleach, I can still see a demarcation. And I know a lot of times hair besties, everyone's like, that looks fine. But to me, I want everything to be completely seamless. I'll have her bend her head down. Okay, I'm going to take the routage color that I placed down with the Blue Mystique and merge it down as much as I can. The best part is that you get so much with the product. Run that through all the way down to the center and I'll stop right there, leaving the ends out. And I'm going to repeat myself with every demarcation line I encounter. A lot of us will go like, why do you mix so many different formulas just to create something that looks like one color? Sometimes when we do eyeshadow colors, we blend them, but we use multiple palettes of colors to blend the colors together. It's about knowing where to be loud and where to be more matte. After melting down the formula with Blue Mystique, you see the ends are out, right? So I'm going in with just Crimson Spell, just on the ends. So now I move up high. You see, this is where the 6MR is, the base color where it's dark. I am gonna put just Crimson Spell on there because this allowed that part of the hair that already has a permanent color base on it to be more vibrant. The dyes are so unique that you're able to add pigment into the place that isn't even pre-lighten and we'll let her process for 25 minutes and we'll be back done with Karma Love's hair. Karma, how do you feel? I feel like a villain. A villain? Yeah, villainous. I, I don't know any shy villains, do you? 
No. I'll be the first. The first shy though. It's like you're gonna be so scary being shy and being a villain. <laughs> well, you're breaking stereotypes, yeah. right? Give me five to that. Yeah. Breaking stereotypes. Breaking stereotypes. Yeah. Mimi says she wants to be an influencer. No, no, no. She wants to be a creator on Instagram. What do you guys think? Should Mimi start an Instagram page? Oh, look at her. She's so precious. Subscribe, click thumbs up. Leave comments below, right? Stalk her. I'll put all the links below. Love you guys much. Do, 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 do.